क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन सेज एन आइडियल गैस इन ए थर्मली इंसुलेटेड वेसल एट एन इंटरनल प्रेशर पी वन वॉल्यूम बी वन एंड एब्सोल्यूट टेम्परेचर टी वन एक्सपैंड इन रिवर्सिबली अगेंस्ट जीरो एक्सटर्नल प्रेशर एज शोन इन द डायग्राम द फाइनल इंटरनल प्रेशर वॉल्यूम एंड एब्सोल्यूट टेम्परेचर ऑफ द गैस आर पी टू वी टू एंड टी टू रेस्पेक्टिवली For this expansion, four options are given. When an ideal gas expands adiabatically against zero external pressure, no work is done. So, solution of this problem is work done is zero. Since it is an adiabatic process, there is no exchange of heat energy between system and surrounding. so q is 0 when q is 0 delta u that is also 0 since delta u is 0 it means there is no change of temperature the initial temperature and final temperature are same so out of the four options given the option a is correct option b is also correct option c is also correct for an ideal gas if temperature is constant p1 v1 must be equal to p2 v2 so correct answer is a b and c now we move on to the next question that is question number 30 Question number thirty reads: The correct statements for orthoboric acid are these are the four options given. It behaves as a weak acid in water due to self-ionization. Acidity of its aqueous solution increases upon addition of ethylene glycol. It has a three-dimensional structure due to hydrogen bonding, and it is a weak electrolyte in water. orthoboric acid does not ionize in water it is not a bronsted acid in fact it is a lewis acid it reacts with water releasing hydrogen ion water functions as a lewis base orthoboric acid is a weak monobasic lewis acid the four oh groups attached to boron in the anion condense with the oh groups of ethylene glycol so on addition of ethylene glycol the equilibrium shifts in the forward direction the acidic strength of boric acid increases boric acid is a weak electrolyte in water this is statement is also true boric acid molecules are interlinked through intermolecular hydrogen bonding to form a layered structure it does not form a three dimensional structure so the correct answer is option b and d Now we move on to the next question that is question number 